And I know, Jared, you, um, even though you moved away from FX, you said you actually have some strong opinions on dollar yen. So let's uh, let's talk about that. You uh, you were telling me this beforehand. Uh, maybe you even want, if you want to share your screen with us and uh, uh, yes. lay it out for me, I'd love to hear your thoughts because obviously this is a market you're very familiar with. You've been trading for 20 years. What do you think is going on there? Yeah, I think, you know, what, one of the one of the more interesting charts, um, I wonder if I could pull it up really. Well, yeah. we see, I'll, we see I'll, the value. I'll, I'll, I'll explain, but uh, yeah. um, I, I think that there is, I think we have a bit of a, the, the theme probably of 2022 is, is correlations being broken, right? And huh. and particularly in, in in currencies, we've we've gotten so used to seeing certain things happen, right? Oil right. and the and the Canadian dollar, uh, U.S. Yeah, uh, interest rates, you know, all these different kinds of things, and and we're starting right. to see a bit of a decoupling in in a lot of areas. Uh, so the dollar yen for me represents. And I'll, I'll be honest, even in my full timest uh, <laughs> currency trading days, I didn't trade the dollar yen so much because it was always kind of, it was boring. always just, a, 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 <laughs> it was boring. It was, right. it was so indecisive, right? You would get these, yeah. these real sideways movements. Um, right. I am probably contrarian a little bit to what everybody will be looking at and thinking about. If we look at kind of a long-term chart on dollar yen, I think it's, I think it's gotten interesting and I'm actually starting and I think that this could be a, a, a great trade to, to discuss for the battle here. I'm starting to look at and scale in some small, short positions. Small, short positions. Interesting. So, so, so yeah, why? I'm going, I'm, 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 I'm trading, I'm trading down on here. You know, I, I think, I think we have in, in the typical situation of interest rates going up in the U S that's typically bullish for the dollar, right? We get, we get a little right. dollar strength out of, out of interest rates uh, uh, going up. But then on the flip side, we have this inflation situation that's, that's run out of control. Right. And uh, you know, if, if history has taught us anything uh, inflation has a hard time correcting itself without some sort of recession. Uh, and so so, so I'm starting to look at the possibility that the dollar has has run its course for the near term, and, wow. and I'm and I'm getting interested in in dollar bearish trades. So you're already like literally leaping through the whole recessionary view. You're like already you know six <laughs> months ahead of the Fed, uh, and pretty much think that that um, a lot of the interest rate um, movement is um, kind of priced in. What about on a technical level? I mean, I'm looking at this right now. You seem to have a very clear double top. Um, formation here um how are you how are you thinking about this is this is this a scale up trade is this pretty much let me just try a short here if it you know if it goes 100 points against me i'll, I'll dump it what, do, what would be your structure for this particular trade yeah so so the way that i'm going to trade this one is uh you know my, my my typical fx trades these days are are scaled in positions uh and i typically will stay with them for whatever amount of time it takes for the trade to do what I know it should do. So I do yeah. definitely love, I, I, I love all this, you know, support and resistance we have right here in this nice double top, this nice resistance there. Uh, so I love all that. I also kind of have a, you know, there, there, there's a setup that I've used so much in, in FX and, and it just kind of has to do with uh, periods of time that a currency will go without pulling back to certain moving averages and, and distances, time and distance from, in, in oh, this case, this, this is my this is my 200 moving average. So I've kind of always right. watched when you start getting, you know, these really long, you know, year long periods without touching moving averages. And we start to get these big spaces here uh, with uh, price and so on. And we couple that with hitting major support or resistance levels, in this case, some resistance. Right. It tends to be a pretty solid trade. So so that's that's you know, on on the on the fundamental kind of macro level, um, right. I think the dollar is gonna is gonna surprise everybody and head, you know, into weakness, even though we've huh. got all these rate hikes coming. But on the right. technical side of things, we also have a really good technical setup uh, here as right. well. So that's really interesting. That's uh, it's, it's super interesting. Is there any kind of quantitative work you did about um, what is the maximum amount of time that that it goes two hundred you know two hundred day moving average without pulling back? Like, um, 
you know, at, at what points does it get extraordinary, like, you know, two, three standard deviations extreme from, from normal historical patterns? Yes. So, so I actually wrote a bunch of programs that tested all of this and I ran it through every currency pair for 10 years and, uh, and got some pretty interesting numbers. And funny enough, the dollar yen is pretty much at, uh, a pretty near extreme in, in comparison to those types of numbers. Hmm. Interesting. So di distance, distance and time, uh, they don't typically get too much further and go too much longer than kind of where the dollar dollar yen is right now. Interesting. No, Interesting. not okay. calling a top a hundred percent here, but right. I think, I think it's about as safe it's as any time. It's what we call a probative top. You know, we we'll <laughs> yeah. put, put, put our toe in the water. So exactly. The water. We're, 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 we're testing the water. So I'll scale in some positions. I'll throw some, uh, uh, I've got a small short in now. I'll short it again in another 200 pips and probably another 200 pips. Wow. Wow. That's a very, that, that's really, so this is a multi week, multi month kind of a trade. This is, this is a positional trade. Yeah. Th th this will likely run, I would say maybe one to three months. Interesting. Interesting. Okay.